In our morning rounds, a breakthrough in the war on cancer. Researchers at 14 major American cancer centers teamed up to identify switches that fuel cancer using genetic sequencing. Targeted drugs were then used on lung cancer patients. The new approach may help people live longer, and it could mean the beginning of the end for chemotherapy as the standard of care. Our Dr. David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. He joins us from Washington. Dr. Agus, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Tell me how this works. Well, the old days, which was last year, we would look under a <laughs> microscope and say, you have lung cancer, and we would give you a cocktail of chemotherapy. Now, these 14 centers showed this is reality today as we can sequence 10 genes, and in over two, or about two-thirds of patients, we can identify an on switch and give a pill a day, no intravenous chemo, give a pill a day and keep the disease under control. And in those patients, they lived about a year longer than patients where we didn't use this molecularly targeted therapy. Although it wasn't a randomized study, very important trial. So could you see this doing away with uh, chemotherapy and is, is this treatment better, do you think? Well, I certainly hope in the long run it does away with chemotherapy. It has less side effects. It's a pill a day instead of getting intravenous drugs. And in many patients, it buys significant time. The hope is we do away with chemo. The reality is that we use these drugs, and when they stop working, we use chemotherapy because it, too, will buy time. So right now, it's a combination. And there's hope, though, that this will change in the future. So I understand this study was done in lung cancer patients. Doctor, do you think it may be applicable for other kinds of cancer? Oh, yeah. I mean, the days of calling cancer by body part are going to go out the window. We're going to call cancer by on switch. So at these cancer centers, as well as many across the country, we're starting to use these technologies for all cancers. Look for an on switch and then find a drug to turn it off. You know what's interesting about this is you talk about giving somebody another year. That's great news to people because they don't know what might happen in the next year that could lead to greater survival. Mm -hmm. No question. I mean, there's hope that that one year, month 11, a new drug comes and buys another year. So that's the hope at the end of the tunnel. And that's what we're all focused on is that hope. I sure do sense your enthusiasm about it, Dr. Agus. Do we dare use the word cure? No. And mm -hmm. again, right now, our hope is we make cancer a chronic disease. And that's our prayer. And that's what we're shooting for now. A cure is down the road. But still, we want people with cancer today to live better and longer. And that's what these drugs will do. All right, doctor. Good to see you. Thank you.